Hey, everybody. Bormac here for... BAM! A Vernum 3. As if you didn't know from, you know, the title of the video and everything. So, uh... Clearly this one's not going to be entirely underground. This looks pretty darn above ground to me. Ocean. Sky. We got a fort here. It's on fire. But... Still a fort, on fire or not. Palisades are intact. Anyway, let's go. Hmm. Looks very similar to the last setup. Let's, uh, let's mix it up. That'll do us. Nah. New character type. Hmm. Well, clearly we will probably have to use Demon Slayer again, so we <laughs> need somebody that can swing a sword. So, either a soldier or a berserker. I think I want a Neffel. Neffel soldier. Yeah, let's just mix the species up, why don't we? Name of, uh, Jeremy. Let's get a, no, maybe, uh-uh, you or you. You look more cleric -y, so I guess we'll go with you. And that'll have to do. It's the closest color. You will be human. Actually, let's have a slith archer type. Just frickin' mix it up. I mean, the bonuses are, uh, minor at best. Like, plus two levels. We do need somebody that's good at picking locks. A rebel. Hmm. Name of... Hmm... Slith? Sure. Slith the... Slitheric High Rebel. That looks more fitting. Ooh, I like that one. It's probably a mage, though. Whatever. Okay, we need a healer type. I think we had a shaman last time. Let's just have a cleric. <laughs> Barbarian cleric. Ninja Cleric? Eh, that'll work. Is that it? Yeah, that was it.
There we go. Henry. And the sorcerer. Who looks like they could chuck some spells? I guess you. Eh, you can do it. Kane. Then he'll go off and fight GDI. Alright, so this person is our soldier. Statistics, elite warrior. Uh, do I want anything else? Let's start with a level, two levels of luck for everybody. It will help us in the long run. Strong will is tempting. Along with Elite Warrior. Already getting like half experience. You are the uh, rebel. We do need you to have nimble fingers. No, we can only get one point of luck. Getting tool use early is not a bad thing. You are our cleric. I want you to have... Uh... Hmm. Gotta have something. Hmm. Having somebody with good education is good. Eight item lore. Rune reading ten. I don't know what that does, but it does something. And our sorcerer is natural mage. Looks fine to me. Interesting setup. Less than optimal, but it'll have to do. Clearly, no. <laughs> All right, get a drink of water and we'll start because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch of reading. Boom. Legends tell that Avernum is the gateway to the underworld from which the dead never return. Avernum is also a real place. It's many miles of caves and tunnels far below the world's surface. <laughs> Bam! The Empire rules the surface totally. When, they're, when they discovered Avernum, they had the perfect use for it. A prison. Everyone who didn't fit in. The rebels, the antisocial, they disliked, or were teleported to Avernum. Forever. The Avernites were not inactive. They built subterranean cities. They learned to fight. Ha! ha. Ooh, good hit. They studied magic. Whoa! They built their strength. And when they were ready, they got their revenge. The Archmage Erica made her own teleporter. 
Emperor Hawthorne ruled the Empire. He was brilliant and ruthless and despised. What? Bam! That's clearly how it went. Oh dear. <laughs> how -er. Yes. It's time to deal with the Vernum. Yes, Garzad. <laughs> oh dear was his words. Vernum struck down the Emperor. Four years later, the Empire invaded. Well, you got Erica there, you're still in good shape. Oh! Okay, maybe that wasn't Eric. <laughs> Vernum was outgunned and outnumbered. The Empire War was thought lost until a Vernum found an ally. The alien Vanatai joined you. Oh! And turned the tide. The imp Empire was expelled. Vernum won the Empire War. Five years passed. Nothing was heard from the Empire. The Avernites decided that it was time to return to the surface. They built the teleporter and formed Upper Avernum, a new series of caves just below the surface. Then selected somebody to explore the surface for the first time. You. Your testing was extensive. Ow! Oof! Rude! And very painful. Clearly. Your briefing was considerable. This is a tree! Behold its majesty! What's it for? And confusing. <laughs> you were sent up to Fort Emergence. In Upper Avernum, you are to go see someone named an Exmander to get your orders, then go up to the surface. All Avernum waits on you. I'll wait to see what you'll find. They want to return to the surface. You carry the dreams of your people. Good luck. You'll need it. Boop. Click mouse to continue. I clicked the mouse to continue. Uh, spiral death. Huh. Either it's a big area or the game is crashing, which is, you know, a good sign. You know, Vernum has always had problems loading when a lot of things are going on at once. Which is why we had a lot of combat skip in uh, the big fights in Avernum 2. Hmm. All right, I got it to go. We have new names because I couldn't remember what I picked originally. Same setup, though. Warrior, Rebel, Cleric, and Sorcerer. And they all have luck. Aside from you, who got uh, some tool use and luck. But yeah, I think the initial luck will serve us well. Oh man, we're down to stone and poor leather. Take a candle. Simple map of the northern half of Fort Emergence. On the back it says, pick up your supplies and come see me as soon as you can. Supplies for me here. Me. Okay. And there is him. 
Interesting. I wonder what the surface is like. Aside from the fact that it has a mysterious tree. Alien creature that it is. I opened a door. Step out of your quarters and into one of the many cavernous halls of Fort Emergence. Quarters are eerily quiet. Only a small fraction of the troops that will be stationed here have arrived yet. It's time to go get your orders. No, it's time to get my supplies and then get my orders. Also, there's a dude. Hi. Gordon. You're a young, scrawny man with short, sandy brown hair. He bows respectfully to you as soon as you approach. Greetings to you, adventurers. I'm Gordon. Uh, what do you do? Well, I'm sort of the servant for the guest quarters. I sort of keep everything clean, prepare the meals, that sort of thing. Can you get us some meals? Servers, a uh, bit of a problem with that. The fort is not yet entirely ready, and I don't have supplies up here to cook yet. Perhaps you went to see... Perhaps if you went to see Elise. Okay, where is that? Runs the main kitchen in the southwest corner of the fort. She gives lots of food to anyone who asks. Thanks! I'll probably need it. Dun, 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 dun. The training hall. I don't have any experience to train with yet. My reputation is neutral. I didn't know that was a thing. Can you train me in special abilities like in Avernum 1? Train soldiers to the best of my ability. I can also train others. She says others with great disdain. I can't help but guess that her contempt is aimed at you. You have some problem with us. You work for covert operations, do you not? I am not afraid to say that I have little respect for you lot. We are still fighting the same enemy. Fuck! <laughs> she spits. Covert operations is a ragtag band of untrained adventurers, amateur spies, and mixed hangers-on. We soldiers train hard and die for our cause. You wander aimlessly and expect respect. Yet King Micah gives the first contact with the service to your undisciplined lot. She spits again. King Micah is a wise ruler, and we will not tolerate the insults of our sovereign. Of course, it's not such, it's not too such as me to question the wisdom of my monarch. She pauses and thinks, even if he is wrong, you are a bad person. I don't want to associate with you, but there's a cat, and I want to talk to it. I feel enriched already. We're off to a good start. Violators will be towed. I'm not sure what that means. I just... Let's see, I was here. Went down this hall. I'm in here. thick with the raw stink of animal feed and fresh dung. There are cells ringing in the room with several which hold strange creatures from the surface world. They must be here to study. Oh, that study's not going with sheep! Chickens! Chicken! Young Owen's robes were probably clean this morning. Now they have bits of fur, tiny clumps of dung on them. She curtsies self uh, curtsy, self-consciously brushing fur and such off her robe. Yes, she does. I'm Eva. What are you doing? Research the flora and fauna of the surface world. Spies have brought some samples back. You can also magically summon samples from the surface world, examine them in their cells, then teleport them back up. If they are damaged, I heal them. What is a fauna? You know, animals! If I find any unusual creatures on the surface, ask me about them. Maybe I'll know something. It's doubtful because, uh... Hasn't the Empire been exterminating everything unusual? Anything about bears or wolves? Surface carnivores. They'll take a bite out of you if they get the chance. What have you learned about bears? They're large, potentially dangerous. Although, usually, they would be more than happy to leave you alone. You should, however, beware of... Ursagi. Ursagi are sort of intelligent mutant bear. They're very evil. We capture one, and it almost picked the lock on its cell with its claw. It would have been a horrible mess if it had escaped. Any research on wolves? Wolves are occasionally vicious furry creatures with slightly smaller, less dangerous than giant lizards. You are a 